Is Florida becoming a more hateful state? A newly released report shows a sharp increase in extremist related incidents. Now, the Anti Defamation League releasing the report first to us this morning. Investigative reporter Katie Legrone is taking a closer look at the new data and why Florida is increasingly becoming home to hate groups. This 42 page report breaks it all down from incidents of hate to the numbers. And to be frank, it's scary. According to the Anti-Defamation League, between 2020 and 2021, extremist-related incidents in our state jumped 71 percent, from 120 incidents in 2020 to more than 200 just one year later. But it's what the ADL attributes that increase to causing the most concern. According to the ADL, the increase is fueled by the distribution of white supremacist propaganda. And they say now it's being spread by extremist groups working closely together through an interconnected network, a web of hate helping extremist groups expand quickly in a way researchers describe as unprecedented. I was most surprised by the rapid growth of the network that I described. Uh, you know, looking back uh, to incidents in 2019 uh, and early 2020 that we tracked, we saw very few incidents from groups like um, the Goyim Defense League and White Lives Matter. But then in 2021, these groups really started to explode. In total, the Center on Extremism also recorded more than 400 instances of white supremacist propaganda between 2020 and August of 2022. The ADL now using its findings to encourage the public, including law enforcement and elected leaders, to do more to fight hate in Florida. Among their recommendations, making sure police are better trained to identify hate crimes and encouraging lawmakers to pass a comprehensive hate crimes bill, something the group has been fighting years for. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.